Hello Warfighters, War is Hell. Welcome to the next episode of Arma 3 Recon, where I take a random mission out of the Arma 3 Steam Workshop. I rate it and I play it for you. So this one, I really hope is super good. It's called uh, Breakwater Manor, and it's based off of a historical battle that took place uh, between Easy Company of the 101st and a German uh, battery of four 105s outside of Breakhorn Manor. So this is, I think, the first one that I've done that's actually historical from a single player uh, perspective. I've done a couple missions uh, in the previous Milsim unit that I was in where we joined up with another group and we did uh, Operation Market Garden and then we did a German paratrooper one, which I don't think the latter one was probably too much of a historical reenactment as much as uh, the first one was. But anyway... So, uh, I have to make sure that I don't go ahead and uh, let you guys hear kind of what happened before this, because I'm sure I'm going to get a copyright strike. Because uh, I, I think this is pretty cool, though. They did take in Band of Brothers, the scene where they're all having the briefing and talking about what they're going to do, and uh, they kind of play that. So, you get the feel, like, if you've watched Band of Brothers, that uh, you're kind of experiencing what you saw there. Now, this map here... Um, is set up to be just like France. You know, you've got lots of hedgerows and stuff like that. In fact, it actually makes this really difficult when it comes to uh, moving people around because there's just a few small places in which you can have AI run through. This mission is set up to be both single player and co-op, so I feel like uh, just from that perspective, uh, this is probably a lot easier to do with multiplayer. At least that's what I get the feel for. Uh, being somewhat conscious of what is around me, uh, making sure that I don't spot any German patrols or anything like that, because I don't know how this is going to be set up, like if there are German patrols, because, I mean, here I go out in the open. But the reason why I feel comfortable going ahead and doing that is because I do have all these hedgerows that the AI cannot get through. So unless... Uh, they're in the same field that I am or are in some pretty substantial openings. I don't think that anybody's going to pop out. And if I do see somebody pop out of some of these openings, I mean, it's a fatal funnel at that point. We should be able to uh, take them all down. I've got a number of guys with me here too. Uh, so I'm feeling pretty good about how this is going to go. I mean, I know how this goes in real life and everything too. So I'm kind of curious to see how this one all plays out. I will admit right here, uh, I have had to do this a number of times just to find a place to where I can get the AI to go to. On the map, uh, there are some instructions on how you get to uh, the objective of the four 105s that are off to my right. Uh, it didn't work for me, so I've had to find another way around. Okay, so I'm basically like right up near these guys. You can see 70, less than 70 meters on the closest gun. So I'm gonna get down here, stay low, and I'm gonna hold up here until I can get everybody with me. Because as soon as I come around this last hedgerow is, I mean, that's gonna be where we may come in contact with the enemy, or at least this is where it'll be easiest to come in contact with the enemy. I mean, if we spot them first though, we could probably fire a few rounds into them. Okay, so it looks like we've got the battery right in front of us. So I'll go ahead and just skip over. Now we've got everybody with us. We should be able to move up now. All right, I'm going to have everybody stop. Yep, we've got somebody manning that battery. Let's take a look at this one that's closest to me. Let's see if I can do... Oh. Got somebody in the bunker and somebody outside. Now they're facing the other direction. Okay, I'm going to move everybody up there. I'm going to engage this guy. We're going with it. Okay, I've dropped two of them. All right, so now they're opening up. They're getting everybody along that line. I've already lost one guy. Whenever you're playing is World War II, you're only going to be able to take one round and you're done. I've got some guys out in the open, so before I hop into this bunker right in front of me or behind these sandbags, I'm going to try and make sure I'm good to move in here. What do I have in front of me? Oh, there was somebody else in there. 
I've got a fire team off to my right, but I'm gonna move in here, use this for cover. Oh, somebody's in the trench here. Got him now. I got two guys right there. I uh, gotta reload. The ping of the M1 Garand. I love it. All right, so my guys are filtering through that one opening. And I think more of them are getting back here all the time. Try and get these guys that are out in the open too. Now they've got a machine gun nest in the way back. Which is taking some shots, I think, at some of my guys. Now I can barely see the top of the helmet of the guy who's in the MG nest. So I'm not going to... I'm not going to do too much here. Waste a lot of my ammunition. The whole purpose of this is to get in and get out here as quickly as I can. I've got the explosive charges myself. Set one down. I'm going to move down this trench here as my guys establish the base of fire. And I'm going to go prone because I know with these trenches too, they can still shoot me through them. Oh, we got an MG42 staying off. Or laying down there. I've destroyed the first gun. There it goes. <laughs> it was just armored. I gotta be careful here with this this trench. I I think my guys might be stuck there. So I'm gonna get them to try and maybe move out in the open, which I wouldn't do it in any other circumstance other than I've gotta get these guys to engage this MG nest. Whether I'm standing or ducking, I still have a risk of getting hit. The only way is if I go prone. Okay, I hear a German. Oh, there he is. I see him. Now, I'm going to throw a grenade here. I don't have too many grenades, so I'm going to be careful about how I use them. That took him down. And looks like we've got nobody else in here. That's one guy was, like, standing back to the left. It's the only way I wouldn't have seen him. Hey, is there anybody else open in this field? I feel like that machine gun should probably run out of ammunition at some point, so please keep firing as long as you're not hitting my guys. I've got somebody open right in front of us. Not in the trench, but just to the right of the gun. Kind of like in the area that I'm looking. I don't see where he is now. Okay. Let's detonate this bomb. Okay. Other guns destroyed. My guys are still just sticking there. Ah, uh, I thought the MG had gone silent. Okay, we move them over here. Like you said, this is where, you know, with the AI, they're not able to move really anywhere at all. Okay, let's just keep going. Oh, there's the guy off to the right. Um, do I throw a grenade? Nope. Yep. There's two of them up there. There was two of them, anyway. I set a German off to my left. Oh, this is not good. Okay, I'm going to set this charge. I'm going to back up out of here. I'm not going to push on to the next one until I know that I've got this area covered. Looks like we've got some guys even in the field behind us, too. Okay, so I'm basically pinned. I don't feel comfortable moving up right now. Whoa, where did this guy come from? <laughs> I think I just straight up walked past that guy earlier. Well, thanks to Arma, he's like... Hanging there. With his head in the roof of that little bunker. Okay. What to do. Okay. Um... Alright, everybody's back here. I'm going to revive these guys because I feel like I'm going to need them. Got the uh, guy carrying the machine gun, the 30 cal, up top here as I'm getting the sergeant. Uh, it's good to hear, though, that they're firing at something. Okay. He's good. Oh, wait. No, he died. Seriously. I just got done healing him. 
Okay, hopefully this guy doesn't go because I'm going to need him. You know what would have been kind of cool? Is if uh, he had actually used like the real names of some of the guys in Easy Company who took part in this assault. That would have been sweet. Okay, well, since he's gone, if there's anything I can get off of him. Nice, there we go. I finally got some guys that are out in the open here now. Sounds like we're actually engaging the Germans. So I'm going to push up now since I can imagine that the area around this next gun has changed significantly. I probably don't have Germans in the same area as I did before. Guy to my right, I don't see him. Some of the guys that are off to the left, I don't see is too big of a threat. The thing is, though, is here I go having to push up. Okay, what about this guy? Anything I can get off of him that might be helpful? Um, obviously not anything from this officer in his vest and his uniform. First aid kit. I'll take that one. Okay, that guy I took out. Oh, my gosh. Dude totally scared me, but he's a friendly. So he's moving out in the open. That makes me feel like we've got this area basically covered. Okay, so I'm going to move up, make it the last 25 meters, lay down the explosives, and then that should be all that we have to do for this mission. I mean, who knows? Maybe we're going to have to go back to Breakhorn Manor. I don't know. All right. It's about time to blow it up, though. Nice, we got it. Good work, gentlemen. I'm sure the colonel will be damn proud for what you guys did today. Oh, cool. Sweet. So I think that is going to be this mission. You got my guy standing out there in the open. Yeah, there we go. Mission completed. Okay. So per tradition, we're going to go ahead and talk about uh, this particular mission. Go ahead and give it some of the ratings uh, and everything for it and kind of give you my feedback uh, on this. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, rate this one mission difficulty. I'm going to give this one four stars. I thought it was it was good because I think uh, the creator of this one did a good job at creating a balance between uh, the World War II mods obviously being very difficult as far as like you can't get hit, period. Because uh, if you get hit, you have no armor and you're done. So instituting the revive system I think was a good way to balance that out a little bit obviously you didn't have the perk of it but if you played with others you would and the ai uh, you also could go ahead as you saw and revive them unless you didn't do it in time like i did so uh, i thought that was pretty good there the one place where i would go ahead and make it really knock off uh, points for difficulty is because uh, you had to move a particular way and it was just so difficult to find where you had to go. Uh, even though there was stuff on the map, like I said, it didn't work for me with the AI. I couldn't go through uh, some of the holes that were um, like around all of the hedgerows and stuff like that. So that was that was a challenge for me. Uh, scripting complexity, four and a half out of five stars. And not for the conventional reason why I would uh, give this something so high like you know instituting some things that were pretty easy like the revive system um you know and and things like that that wasn't too hard and that's usually what i i kind of give people credit for is what what do they add to it uh because i think that revive system was actually just a vanilla one anyway but the areas where i'm going to give this guy scripting complexity is he tried to as much as possible make this as accurate as uh you could be to what Breakhorn Manor actually looks like. And in one of the clips, or one of the pictures that he has for his mission, he actually does have the map that was drawn up about where the guns were, what the trenches looked like. Uh, and then he even used some things from uh, uh, Band of Brothers as well to kind of add to it too. So, you know, they had the one bunker where the intel was found for... Uh, all of the guns along Normandy that the Allies used. Uh, so many things for historical accuracy that really, really went ahead. And I think it made it difficult to be able to build this mission in that regards. There were some nice little bits of audio that were inserted in there too. Like at the beginning uh, with the briefing and then also the German radio going off too. So nicely done 
in that regards for really uh, going after the historical accuracy of what really took place uh, in this battle or this engagement, I should say. All right, so replayability factor comes next. This is where I really have to have to hit it pretty hard. Um, one and a half out of five stars. That's brutal. Reason why I almost gave up on this mission, to be completely honest, was just trying to get to the objective. Um, again, probably not going to be the case if you're playing this with other people. Be able to find openings in the hedgerows, get there no problem. But from a single player point of view, which is what I do all of these off of because that's how I play them, um, I'm going to have to get them pretty low scores. I mean, obviously replayability, you know where the objective is. You're going to have to hit that one objective every single time. It is a very short mission, so it's not like you have too many opportunities to do things differently. The only thing I think you could do is maybe come in uh, from where the machine guns are and try it from a different area, but that's not going to work. Because, like, you've got the MGs there and then you got everybody else in the trenches, so... Uh, that's probably even a no-go right there, but that's like the only way that I can think of uh, That you could alter the way that you play this mission to maybe make it a little bit different for the next time uh, Presentation Four and a half out of five stars for the same reasons that I kind of talked about with scripting complexity This was presented to be a historically accurate mission uh, And it really was in a lot of ways. I thought it was a good use a uh, nice ad of the audio uh, at the beginning, you know, having everybody huddled around for the briefing, stuff like that. That was a good, nice uh, use of visuals there, too. And obviously, uh, using the map that's designed to be France uh, and have it, having it, you know, set up in a way that it looks just like how Breakhorn Manor was set up to. Everything about this, I think, was really, really good. Uh, the only thing that I would knock presentation on, like I mentioned as I was playing it, is it, it would have been cool if... Uh, you would have used names of uh, the guys in Easy Company who took part in the engagement and stuff. So that's the only place I can really knock it, and that's not that bad at all. So overall, I'm going to go ahead and uh, mark this one three and a half out of five stars. This was a great uh, mission to play through if you love historical stuff. Um, I did think it was a really short mission, and I didn't like how... You know, there's only one way I had to go about, you know, taking care of things. But at, at the end of the day, you know, it is also a historical mission. I get it. There is supposed to be only one way that you kind of go about doing stuff, too, if you want to make it historically accurate. Anyway, what I'm getting at is if you like history, this is a good mission to go ahead and play. Go through once. Uh, if you like World War II, if you like the story of uh, Easy Company, you love Band of Brothers, this is a great mission to play. Uh, so that's it here for this one. Thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. Like the video if you enjoyed what you saw. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see some more of this type of stuff. And uh, join us on the Discord. You can talk about whether or not you guys like this mission, if you thought I'm right or wrong. Same thing in the comments below. And also consider donating to the Patreon to help support uh, what I do here on this channel. Thanks again for watching. War as hell. You don't have to worry because Warfighters, I've got your six.